Hi everyone, today we will discuss how to utilize Stackspot AI to create some complex dashboards on any interface. For example, here we've got a demo using Metabase. The idea would be how can we use AI to help our development team to create a specific dashboard result to help from a data engineer. Okay, so what is the context that we use for this demonstration? We've got a runtime engine application in Stackspot, which has a legacy version and a new modernized version. Both those versions were creating events, so one to an event-based API, v1 and v2. All those metrics are gathered on data lakes on AWS, and we've got two versions of the data platform to access those data and help us gather them on a database to create those dashboards. So we wanted to extract some key metrics, OKRs, to show our stakeholders how the project was running, how many users we had, things like that. So we wanted the AI to help us generate a dashboard based on those data. To do so, we used the concept of knowledge sources available on Stackspot AI. So the idea is to share a set of snippets and files that we give some context to the AI for it to use keywords and be able to understand what we will ask through the prompts and return us a contextualized answer. So for example, here are some knowledge sources we share with the AI. So some JSON of our data's event schemas. So task, events, run event, run task event, deployment tag created. Some examples from the old and the new model of data because the event bus vi1 and the event bus vi2 are different schema models. So some examples running SQL queries on the old model and some examples running the same SQL on the new model sharing a set of returns. So all those data were specific to the runtime team and could be used as context for the AI. So how could we register those data with the platform? To do so, you would need to go on this Stackspot AI platform, access your workspace, and create a new knowledge sources model. In that case, I created a runtime events model, and I shared as much context as I could as a knowledge source using snippets. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of snippets that have been generated. So some with data, some with SQL queries, some with just text explaining what each event represents, things like that. So based on those data, the AI, when I would interact with it through my IDE, through an extension, to be able to get access to this information and suggest answers based on this content. So for example, if I run some, some query here, runtime, run event, or the model. This would be inside the chain that will be used by Stackspot AI and that will evaluate which documents, which snippets are more relevant regarding to those keywords. So here's an example of a query. As you can see, it returned 10 files with a score above 79%. So we've got a threshold you can configure with Stackspot AI. For example, to take into consideration only five with a score above a specific value. So in that case, we are using 75%, if I'm not mistaken. So above 75%, the files are considered as valuable and could be used to bring some context to the question so I come back on my Visual Studio IDE here. Okay, I've got access to the Stackspot extension directly on the IDE. I'm already connected to my account and I will now select my workspace. So all those knowledge sources have been added to the runtime workspace. Now I can already interact with the prompt. So I will ask it to generate a complex SQL query. Let's see, generator SQL query returning average. Run event duration in seconds in runtime gathering data from the old and new database model. So here I'm asking something quite complex because the AI needs to understand, okay, I've got two different databases. I've got different run with different statuses, so I need to identify which run events are related by statuses. Then gather those data and compare them with all the data from the other database and bring me an average value of the duration of all those runs. So it's a query that may be over 30 or 40 lines if we follow the same model that it is generating here. So based on this, I will then return on Metabase and create a new SQL query directly on the dashboard.
Okay, so as you can see here, I've got already many knowledge sources, so I can have access to all of them, see what they use to create a new query. So here we just copy this query and test it on the database. Okay, so we create a new SQL query on the dashboard. Let's check it. So the more context you give the AI, the more specific will be the answer. So here, with all the knowledge I already shared, the AI was able to create a query gathering data from different databases, manipulating timestamp variables, checking some statuses, and returning the value I expected, which was the average duration of a running executed through the platform. So that's it. We just use the AI to create a specific query. I would consider complex, but it depends on each one's skills. And I would then be able to share this SQL query directly on my dashboard if it's valuable for the OKR that I'm looking for. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment the video or to look for the StackSpot team. Thank you. Bye-bye.